Okay, everyone, I've got wind. This is my little invention. It's a uh, LED light. At night time, actually, it lights up quite nicely. And uh, this is just connected to the charge controller. On the other side, I got fans. So in the wind, in the summer, I just c connect that to the switch. And when I'm really hot, I just connect that and get a bit of a bit of wind. So that's that. Then here, and this is from the inverter. It's a bit of a DIY job. There's a 240 uh, lamp there. It's a produces about 90, I think, or 80 uh, watts, and uh, the only consumes about 18 watts of uh, energy. Right now to the garden. Today is one of them uh, beautiful days for renewable energy because it's uh, sunny. And it's also windy, well, a little bit of wind, and uh, the Amtex has been up in the morning. And uh, at one point, I just couldn't see the blades for about an hour. The wind was hitting them in the right spot, and uh, I just couldn't see the blades because it's going so fast. At the moment, it's not really going that fast because the wind has sort of uh, died down a bit. And uh, so that's the Amtex. Out in the tower, I need to make another tower because this one here, the treadmill, uh, is grounded at the moment because I ain't got a tower to put it up. I love it to have two of them, two of them up and running, hopefully soon. Uh, just need to get a tower, and that's it. That's the amp tank. You can probably see the, the motor. It's lovely when it goes really fast because you. you just, you can hear the blades going crazy and you know you're putting on loads of vamps into your batteries. And that's my stand for the for the solar panel. The one at the bottom is 40 watts and the other above is 50 watts and I'll just connect them like that. Because I can actually move the stand around and just chase the sun. Manual sun tracker I suppose. This is a stand for the Amtec. And, uh, Here is my batteries. This one here, I think it's, it's fully charged. 14.1. This is just from the 40 watt the solar panel. Yesterday I had the lights. What I did yesterday, I had the, the lights and my laptop connected to that. And then when it, when it got to 12.5, I then got the inverter and I connected to that. And I connected a little TV and a radio. We had the friends over. So, the whole of last night, I didn't really pay for uh, electricity. And uh, the Amtec was, was up and running and it's charged my batteries up to 14.1. Uh, the 50 watt uh, solar panels give me 3 amps, which is great. The 40 watt just gives me, I think, is 2. I think maximum I've seen is probably 2.10 or something like that. Uh, it'll tell me now actually. Yeah, 2.1, sorry. And that's it. And uh, yeah, so today is good because it's sunny. And every now and again I get a little gust of wind. And it allows the arm to go crazy. This is a little diode. Got one here. This is the for the Amtec. And further down, I've got another one there for the treadmill. And this is the fuse that I'm using on each of them. And um, I need to find another one of these cables here because they're, they're quite thick. And, and that's what I'm using for the, for the Amtec. The treadmill is just a normal extension cord. But obviously, the thicker it is, the, the less volts I'll, uh, I'll lose. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, it'll be nice if you get a little bit of a gust so you can see the, the Amtec going crazy. At the moment it just stopped. Oops, I think it's going to start. Yeah. Oh, she just turned into the wind. Actually, from this section here, you could probably see... I don't want to get too close. You could probably see it there. Right. Now what's going on here? This shouldn't be here. Yeah, that's my son. Whoa. Right, now she's going crazy.
But in the morning you get gusts of wind, just amazing. Because now you can see the blades, but when it's when it goes crazy, you just can't see it. Here she goes. Can you hear it? And just that little gust, it probably takes the volts up to maybe uh, 16 or 18, and it probably puts out about four or five amps into the battery. But in the morning, it had continuous wind, and uh, and that's it. It just charges. There's my other little baby there. It's ready for action. I just need to get another tower. And uh, once I get that. I'll have two. I'll probably put that one there where that plant is. Uh, bushy plant. Put it a little bit higher as well. So, with two treadmills and the solar panels, I should be laughing. Obviously, autumn's going to come up now, and uh, I'll probably rely more on the treadmills to keep these babies charged. But I'm really happy with it, and that's pretty much me done with renewable energy. I'm just going to mess about with LED lights now, which is cool. Alright everyone, see ya.